going to be altering an address book. Uh, my mother-in-law picked this up at a thrift store, and it's it's just brand new, never used. It's got uh, dividers in it and pages, and I want to alter it and and make a little journal of some sort. I'm not sure exactly what yet that I'll make of it, but I definitely want to change it, and um, I think I'm going to be taking it apart. To do that and um, I'm thinking that there won't be room in it really for all these divider cards because it's already um, it's already pretty full and if I add you know anything to the pages of course that's gonna thicken it up a little bit and I'm afraid it just won't hold a lot if I keep all of the cardboard pieces in the divider tab so I think I'm gonna remove those. I'm not sure yet, but I'm gonna do this altering project throughout uh, several videos. And um, so I just wanted to show you up front what it looks like um, now in the state it is now because it'll be you know, completely different by the time I, I get finished with it. So I took the pages out and This is how many pages um, of actual pages are in here. And I think this is a much better option to just use the pages and not the uh, cardboard dividers. So I think I'm going to put these back in. This is the, um, let me see if I can hold it in there. This is the uh, thickness of it with just the pages. So there will be a lot more room, you know, I can double it, in other words, and, and not have it, and it will still all fit well, okay? So that's what I was thinking, that just all these cardboard pieces just made it too, too thick. I mean, that just added almost double what was in there with pages, so I think I'll leave those out. I can always make a book out of these. Uh, by themselves even, you know, and have a nice sturdy. So I have to decide now, do I want to use these or do I want to use the papers? Hmm. Okay, I've decided to use the pages and I'm going to use 50 of them. There are actually like 66, I believe it was 66 pages. So there's a few more that I'm just going to hold on to. And uh, after I've, you know, gotten these papers <clears throat> all painty and I've added a few things to them, I'll see how thick they are and if they're, if there's still room to add a few more of these uh, additional ones in, I'll do that. If not, then I'll just go with the 50 and save these for another project. So that's what I'm going to do, and I'm not going to put them back in the book just yet. I'm, I'm going to work on them loose, and that way I can cover the whole page, uh, um, including the part that goes behind the coil. Um, you know, you can't reach that, and usually when it's in there or it's hard to reach. So I'm going to just do these loose, and when I have extra paint and things, I'm going to add to it when I have extra scraps I'll add to it and it'll just be an ongoing project. You'll see me working on these pages all the time while I'm doing other projects. All right, so that's the way um, that's the way I'm going to work on this and we'll see what it turns into at the end. The next thing I wanted to uh, share with you was um, you remember uh, the journal that I made the other day that I made out of an envelope and I had used a large uh, 9 by 12 envelope to make that. And then I decided after I had finished that one up, I had decided it would be really cute to make one out of a smaller envelope. So I did. <laughs> this is a 6 by 9 envelope. Okay, it is like this. All right. And it's the kind that has the little clasp uh, on there. And I just took that off, and when I collaged my inside pieces here, it just covers up any little holes that that left. 
And um, so what I did on this one was I covered it with a jelly print that I had made in my last uh, jelly printing video. And um, I'll link that video right up here for you so you can see it if you haven't already. Um, I took that jelly print and I just used my white Posca pen and outlined all the leaves. And uh, I really love this page. I love the colors on it. And I just I, I just knew I loved this print. As soon as it was done, I knew I loved it and I'd use it on something. <laughs> so then I just took the two greens um, from this. There's some light green and some dark green in this cover. And so what I did was took those two colors with a tiny bit of a lighter purple and I just uh, used my brayer and rolled on some color on a couple of pieces of book text. And then I cut those into little squares. I, I may still go around and outline these little uh, segments and um, you know really make them pop and stand out. I haven't decided yet if I'm gonna do that, but I have thought about it. And uh, so, yeah, like I said, this one is just a smaller version. It's half the size of the um, nine by 12. So, I think it's really cute. I have the pages already ready here and um, the holes punched in them to uh, attach to the inside of my book. But before I do that, I've still got the flap to deal with and I've been trying to think of exactly what I wanted to do with it. And um, in, that first, in the first segment of this video where you saw that... Um, I'm altering that address book. I've already been uh, creating some pages for that uh, for that book, and 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 it's just been waste paint, okay, leftovers. <laughs> so obviously, I've used a lot of these colors, but um, leftover paint, and I used it through a stencil. I used it with um, with uh, foam stamps. This is a um, leftover paint, and I used that uh, eraser that I carved with the three uh, triangles on it, so I just threw it on there. This is some um, stenciling. I used a stencil and did this when I was making the insides of this. I used the paint that was left over on one of those on one of these address book pages. See, here's the here's the sheet came from the address book. Okay. And um, so I just wanted to show you that I've already been using up a bunch of paint on um, on these pages that, and it, it happens pretty quick because you, all it takes is a project or two and then you've got extra, you know, extra paint and I've got extra uh, scraps and things too that I'll be attaching to these. But uh, I just wanted to show you guys how, um, how they're coming along. Here's a leftover, um, paint and I did the alcohol uh, technique when I was making my We Are The Morsel Makers page. So I just made a, an alcohol page on one of these. So it, it goes real quick making these pages. I want to have this flap come over and, and make like a wallet style uh, journal in this on this one. So I'm, ne I'm gonna need to extend this uh, flap out just a little bit. So I thought I would use a page. You saw that I was using all these purples and greens and you know these shades. So here's another page that I was just brushing on, you know, the extra paint and just literally just swiping it on, no rhyme or reason, just playing. Okay, and I love the way it turned out. And then it turned out that it matches <laughs> the cover of my book. So I was like, ooh, I might use that for my flap, you know. So I'm thinking about attaching it here and um, and bringing it, you know, around and, you know, trimming it off. Uh, but I'm concerned uh, about it being sturdy enough because this is going to be, you know, it's going to take a lot of abuse and I don't want it to tear. And then I remembered uh, watching Mary Abrams' uh, video for uh, Mixed Media Morsel number 19, the silhouette one. And she was talking about how she used that Tim Holtz tissue paper and she had coated it with her um, uh, decoupage uh, medium. 
and how it made it real uh, durable like vinyl, almost like a plastic or a vinyl. So I thought, well, maybe I should use that tissue because this is good tissue. This is, um, it's got some kind of text, uh, coating or something on it already. It's not like regular uh, tissue paper. This side feels like regular tissue, but this side feels uh, like it's already been coated. <clears throat> Excuse me. So it's a good tissue paper and I think it'll be durable, but I think I'll use it along with this. And um, that that pretty moth there just fits just right um, on the front, you know, of the, I think it, to, to fold that over and have the big moth there, I think might look kind of cool, you know. I did go ahead and put some gesso uh, on the inside of the flap because I wasn't sure if I would end up using some of this paper. Uh, I don't know how much of it will be left over. I don't know if it'll be enough. Uh, to cover that and to kind of extend a little bit into the envelope. Um, so I went ahead and just put a little gesso, just, just a little bit up to that. And um, and that way if I do paint it or whatever, it's, it'll be ready to go. Um, but I, I don't want it to be, I didn't want it to be that, this color. <laughs> so um, I'll either paint it or I'll add some paper. I haven't decided, but... Um, so that's my plan. I'm gonna make a little, a little fold over, and then I'll be able to attach, um, you know, some ribbon or fibers or some kind, you know, to wrap around, and it'll, it'll kind of be, um, it'll kind of be something like this one, the one that I keep my, um, my index cards in. So it'll have, you know, a ribbon or something that goes around, and the, the fold over flap. So I really like that uh, style. So I thought. That'd be a cute way to do this one. So, uh, I think that's everything. Um, I, I do want to share with you how I embellish uh, the other journal that I made with an envelope, the white one with the music notes and the pretty spring colored um, napkin. Um, I've got some ideas on what I wanna do. I haven't decided definitely, and I don't really wanna do it just yet because that that journal is so light colored that I don't want to run the risk of it getting uh, paint or anything on it that's going to mess it up. Some journals you don't mind if it gets painty or um, you know messy, especially if they're multicolored journals anyway. But that one is so white, and what I'm thinking about putting on it, I'm thinking about using a piece of lace and um, you know a, a little fabric type flower and. I just don't want those things to get, um, you know, ruined or messed messed up to where they don't look right on the book anymore. Like if if the flower, or the lace, white lace gets red paint or whatever on it, it's not going to look right on that little spring colored journal. So <laughs> that's the reason I'm um, I'm not doing it just yet. So I may work on some of those pages first, and um, and get you know get some of the work done in the journal before. I put the embellishments on so I don't want you, you guys to think that I've forgotten about it even though I said I was going to share it with you because I haven't forgotten I just um I just don't want to do it just yet so uh but I'll definitely um film uh the process of embellishing it once I get to that stage so hang in there it'll be coming eventually all right so I'm gonna get started on this and see what I can come up with
Okay, so I'm finding that um, the um, the flap wants to bend a little where the end of the uh, envelope flap is. So I'm just going to reinforce that um, with a little bit of... I've got this left over from the um, white envelope that I made the other journal from. I'm not sure if it's thick enough. I'm going to use it anyway to um, just to glue onto the end here. And see if it uh, let me go over the edge just a bit. See if that helps to keep that from wanting to fold there. Okay, so for that, I'm going to use this crafter's pick, the ultimate. I'm going to try that and see how that works. So I, um, I finished the, uh, the little journal uh, off camera, but I did want to show you guys what I did. I, um, I painted the um, butterfly, or I, actually I think it's a moth, it's, it's got a thicker body. It uh, looks more like a moth, I guess. Um, but I wanted it to be brightly colored and kind of blend in with the, um, the journal cover itself. So I used these uh, iridescent um, and metallic kind of paints to color it in and use a little bit of Sharpie where the black is. And then I added these little, um, I think they're called dew drops or something like that. I've had those forever um, from back, I don't know how long ago, years, but <laughs> I found them and I had some purple ones. So I decided to attach uh, those on either side of the, um, of the wings. So I did that and then I added some little beads and, um, and a little leaf um, to the 
to the tie here where I tied the sewed the pages in. So that's let's see if I can get it lit right for you. Let me get it, hold it like this. Maybe you can see it better. This little leaf was gold. <laughs> And um, and I had to um, color it and paint it. I stamped uh, some black ink on it, Saison, and to kind of initially change the color. And then I painted some of the silver metallic paint on. And then I added uh, some stickles, just brushed on some stickles. It's not thick. But um, anyway, um, yeah, that's what I uh, that's what I added to the spine the binding edge and then to close it the closure I just did a simple um, this is just some Baker's twine and I just decided to put a button on the back I just didn't want to put a whole lot more right here on the front because with the decoration here and here I decided I didn't want to wrap anything around and around here I just didn't want to disturb the the look of the butterfly so I decided to just close it here and bring it around to the back where I attached a button and then just close it up like that. And I really like it. It's simple and uh, I think the colors are just beautiful. I love the I love the butterfly design. I love the, the colors on the beads and how all that worked out. Okay, and then on the inside, um, I, I sewed the pages in uh, just like I did on the large book. And again, I did uh, five sheets. So I have 10 pages in this little book. So it'll be fun just having a little, little small journal to work in. Here's my pocket. And uh, if the journal gets thicker, which, you know, it can, I've got a little bit of room here where this can, you know, this can come out to even there, you know, and still, and still wrap around, you know, and and tie up. This is extra long, so there's plenty of room, no matter how how short this becomes. But um, but I like it. I think it turned out really cute, and it's all just from a little envelope. I just think that's amazing <laughs> that you can make something so fun out of an envelope. And it's nice and sturdy, and um, you know, it's it's just great. I love it. So, and the jelly print, of course, was the uh, the cover material. So. It's really, really cool, and I just, I love it. So I just encourage everybody to give it a try and uh, use your jelly prints and things that you, like I already had all this stuff around around here. I didn't go buy anything else, you know, I didn't go buy anything to create this with. So it was all here, and um, you, you'll find that once you start digging through your stash, you find that you've got a lot of stuff that you forgot you had. <laughs> So, um, anyway, thanks for joining me. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and uh, we'll talk to you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.